Yeah, I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. His nickname should be New, Smooth, and Unprepared. My mom saw cherries, and you did not tell her the purpose of the cherries. I feel like he was meant to be like some war hero. What does that show you about Zach? Alright boys, 7.18 in the morning, we're uh, it's July 2nd, 2020, where are we going? Hey everybody, Cameron Coyle here, and I'm the founder of the Zachary Taylor Project. Zachary Taylor was our 12th president of the United States, he served from 1849 to 1850. And if you don't really know anything about Zachary Taylor, you might have heard, if you are a little bit of a presidential history enthusiast, for instance, that Zachary Taylor died in office in the White House in 1850 uh, after eating a bowl of cherries and drinking some milk at the White House after a 4th of July celebration. And you got to honor the man uh, our 12th president of the United States who tried his best to serve our country. I figured that on this, you know, on this day coming up, the 4th of July, a sacred holiday in this country, I figured why not celebrate it by trying something that I call the Zachary Taylor Challenge. Basically the quick version of the Zachary Taylor Challenge is going to be, I'm going to be eating a lot of cherries, drinking quite a bit of milk, and we're going to see how that goes. I don't know how it's going to go right now, um, but we'll see. It just so happened that on the 4th of July of this year, I'd actually be down the shore in LBI, Long Beach Island, New Jersey, uh, with some of my friends. Uh, Ryan, Ty, Eric, Brett, Shane, uh, Aiden, Dan, a couple other of my friends there. Uh, we all were staying at Jake's house, my friend Jake. And good time. I had already brought with me the uh, the bag of cherries for the challenge, but I had to go get the milk. So I went to the place where my friend Jake works, Anchor Produce, and uh, let's just say we gave him a bit of a tough time getting that uh, half gallon of milk. Zachary, what is it? What is it for? Zachary Taylor challenge. What we got? We're gonna do two percent. We're gonna do whole milk. Go whole milk. That's Sell good. by Zachary Taylor's death date. Oh. What is that, coincidence? Um, I hope I not. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, so is it okay if I... Three. 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 Well, I had to get, I had to break 100 once, because of course I had to make him do it. Yeah, I'd say it was fair that Ryan and uh, the rest of the guys were giving me a little bit of a hard time. Um, I mean, if the anti-Zachary Taylor project, if Ryan creating a whole new social media page shows you anything about how far they were willing to go, then I don't know it will. Well, what do you think about Zachary Taylor's challenge coming up? All I got to say, everyone's always talking Zachary Taylor, old, rough, and ready. Listen, that's a lot of talk. You know, you, you look at the stats, and you can't, even, you can't even deny that his nickname should be New, Smooth, and Unprepared. You can't even take down a glass of dirty water. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt gets shot, and 45 minutes later, he finishes the speech. And you got Zachary Taylor, and he can't even take down 
a little incy, little little teeny weeny glass of water and some cherries. Are you kidding me? Does that represent America? I don't think so. I don't think so. Is that who we want? You know, is that who we want? Writing a whole, you know, a whole book and you know, a whole museum and, and a whole website. What's the point? I offer you that question. Leave your comment in in the uh, in the post below. I mean, at this point, I, th I think I'm yeah, on the side of Brian. It. He covered it. I don't know how I'm feeling it. about Zachary. Yeah. I, I don't know, like, man. I like this is questionable. I mean, I feel like he was meant to be like some war hero, but he can't even handle a little bit of dirty water. Let me ask you something. A little, little bit of dirty water. So, so, so tomorrow, you need, drink a glass of water, he needs some cherries, beer. and you have some milk, and you don't die. What is that, what does that show you about Zach? Huh? What's, what's the question? Because you're not even thinking about death. Oh, and ask, Zachary let's Taylor, let's is, ask, it gets demolished. By Hello. gastrointestinal diseases. Hey, we're so just I offer a you little, that. Um, <laughs> okay. A tad bit of a <laughs> All right. All right. I got questions for you. Actually, yours too. Yeah. What do you think about Zachary Taylor? Do I have a film? Yeah. yeah. I, I, we're I, we're I, all trying. Let me help. 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 He dies a day and a half later. Because Teddy Roosevelt gets I'm shot. I'm concerned that you guys are sitting around talking about this right now. You should be at the beach chasing chicks. Let's <laughs> go! <laughs> That's it. That's a nice point. So let me give you a little bit about the actual challenge, the Zachary Taylor challenge. So, I got a nice bowl of cherries that I counted out. It has 64 right now for some reason. I can't believe this, okay? Dude, my mom saw cherries, and you did not tell her the purpose of the cherries. However, Therefore, this was an is... important challenge that everyone should have known. Of course everyone knows about the no Zachary Taylor challenge. No one knows about the Zachary Taylor challenge! Everybody knows. No, and now I have no. not 65 cherries like was planned, okay? I'm, this is pre-preparation. This is the night of preparation here. I have 64 on my mom and a damn okay. cherry. Listen. Be, be goddamn grateful they're staying in your house. Listen, this is PG-13, so you gotta you gotta watch your tone, okay? Listen, this is unbelievable. Oh we're gonna have to go. The... Listen, we're either gonna have sixty. We're gonna have sixty-five cherries. That's that's the main that's the main thing right now. So if I don't have sixty-five cherries, we're gonna find a way to for get... somebody. I've got 64, so I'm gonna have to find a couple more cherries. But anyways, uh, we're gonna have 65 cherries, uh, one for every year that he lived. Then I'm gonna be drinking a half gallon of milk. Now, I don't know if that's very accurate in terms of what he ate when he got back to the White House that day after sitting in the sun all day long and listening to speeches and coming home. He was just famished. So I don't know exactly what he ate. And, and there are a lot of conflicting accounts about what he actually ate that day. But I figured that 65 is a very sentimental number compared to uh, to uh, how how old he was when he passed away. And a half gallon of milk is, uh, is no small feat, but I'm gonna be eating those and eating those cherries, drinking that milk throughout the day. And by the end of the day, I will make sure to tell you guys how it feels. I mean, to say I'm a little nervous is, it's definitely a true statement because, listen, I've never, I've never eaten this much fruit probably in a day. I mean, 65 cherries. I thought, listen, I thought cherries were like pretty small. And then I looked at 65 all together in a bowl. I was like, okay, this is, uh, it's gonna be more than I thought. I originally thought 170 because it's been a, that long since he passed away. But um, yeah, I, I realized it was, yeah, I got to 65, I was like, there's no way. I read some articles, I did my research, I was looking it up, and uh, even though Zachary Taylor probably didn't die because of the cherries or the milk or anything, it was probably the, uh, the bad water in Washington, D.C. at the time. I, uh, yeah, I did my research and I found that eating a lot of cherries might not be the best on the stomach. Um, no. Cherries have a uh, laxative quality to it, to put it scientifically. Um, so I may be taking quite a few trips to the bathroom today. And also another part about it is 
the pits of the cherries. You know, you definitely want to be careful. You want to be careful when you're eating these cherries because, you know, you don't want to swallow the pits. I mean, I read uh, I read another article, you know, doing my research again, that if you accidentally were to like chew up the pit by accident, which is very hard to do, very hard to do. But if you were to do that, there's actually a high amount of arsenic within the cherries that like almost double the amount needed to hospitalize somebody. So, you know, a lot of caution is going to be taken today with these cherries here. So I don't know how fun it's going to be. It might, it might be, it might be a struggle. And drinking that much milk is also quite a feat in and of itself. Um, non, you know, supposedly a hot day in the, in the summer. I don't know if I'm looking forward to it. First cherry, first of many. All right, here we go. How's that cherry taste, Kim? It's a good, it's a good start. It's a nice plump cherry. It was a good cherry. Yeah, these are, but these are prime. The, the 65th one was lush. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't blame you for eating cherries. It's pretty good. They're pretty good cherries. I got this. I could do I think I could take down the milk. Yeah. Pretty easy. I think the plan is uh, it's gonna be we're gonna try and paste this out today all the hours. Started at 10 a.m. Hope to be done by 10 p.m. So, five and a half cherries per hour. It's not that bad. But for right now, we got cherry number 10. It's pretty delicious. These are good cherries. Oh man, would I love a cherry. In the fridge? I think so. Can I eat it? No. Are you taking a video of me? Yeah. Plus it's this. It's not it. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> um. Well, all right. Oh. oh. Uh. How you doing? <laughs> oh my God! It's gone. Magic trick. <laughs> oh!
So, been pacing it out pretty well. 48 down right now. I'm talking to my phone. I'm, I'm documenting this this time period right here. I got some to say. I had one of those cherries. So, whatever he says, minus one. Got it? <laughs> was your hand just in front of the camera when you said that? It was partly, partially in front of it. Okay, so we're 47 cherries down. And we'll see how I hold up when we go to play basketball now. So, we'll see how this goes. Cam, a.k.a. Zachary Taylor Project, creator and founder. How did those basketball games end up, and how do they, how do they represent what you, uh, what you looked for in creating the Zachary Taylor Project? I mean, here's the deal. I mean, it's just like our American culture. You know, we had a lot of opportunities to give all the resources to learning about Zachary Taylor, and it just came up short. You know, it came up short in the final game there. Uh, you know, maybe those cherries kind of affected my play a little bit at the end there. Missing a couple of terrible shots. Um, but, you know, hey, there's always other games. There's always other times. So, so did you win or lose the two games? Won the first game. Um, and how about the second game? Didn't win. <laughs> oh, speaking of the double. Cherry 56. <laughs> <laughs> I got cherry number 56 here. Everything's going well right now. 55. Cherry number 55. All right. 55. 56 in the bowl because there was someone who decided before to take a cherry it may, out of my bowl. It may have been me. But anyways... We're gonna probably. Are we actually gonna get more? Yeah, we'll cherries? get more. We'll get more cherries. We're getting, so we'll we're actually getting. finish the challenge. We had the basketball game before, you know. I wasn't, I wasn't the best, but you know. Far from the worst. Far, uh, far well, yeah, pretty yeah, I guess. Maybe, like, far from the worst. But uh, you know, as a matter of fact, I probably should have heightened up, honestly, you know, the restrictions. Sixty-five throughout the day is doing me well right now. Let's knock on wood for that one. Only two bathroom breaks, so everything else is going great. So, still good. So Liz was the culprit. She ate the cherry that basically destroyed our whole mission. So we had to go out. Eric took me, and we got another bag of cherries to finish the deed. I mean, we only had what like five more to go. But we got it done. We got five more cherries to go. Let's do it. Hey, here we go. Mm. Down the hatch. Oh, this one's a good one. This one's a good cherry right here. Let me see it. Mm. It's in my mouth. I can't see it right now. So, oh, it's ready to go. Well, it's nice ready. and right. Mm. Eat me, eat me, eat me. Alright. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not as firm. But it's a good one. The juices. Oh, we got two more. We got two more. These are where the legends are made right here. We're in grunge time. This is where we see the men from the boys. <laughs> you know, I've, I've been recognizing things today. After my Jerry Extravaganza here, my Zachary Taylor Challenge. What are those? The redder they are, they're not so good when uh -huh. they're red. You gotta have a little bit of a dark color right here. Like this one, the 65th Jerry. That's how many years he lived. Can we take a moment of silence? Them. Let's take a moment of silence. His nickname should be New, Smooth, and Unprepared. I feel like he was meant to be like some war hero. What does that show you about Zach? Yeah. <laughs>
Yes. Yes. Good job. Well done. And that's tradition for the Zachary Taylor Challenge. That is the tradition. That is the tradition. There it is. As far as, listen, as far as right now, what time is it? 821? Yeah, listen. Crushed it. Crush it. Crush the Zachary. Give the man 90. Yeah, give me, listen. Throw any number on me right now. I'm, I'm ready to go. Chair. All right, so now I'm home. It's a sad, sad day that I'm not at the beach anymore, unfortunately, because that is always fun. But, um, you know, it was quite the experience, Zachary Taylor Challenge. Successful first time. Highly recommend doing it. As long as you're safe, don't swallow the pits, and know how your body reacts. But, anyways... I mean, honestly, you know, you don't want to recommend people to try and go for more. But I think 65 was a little low on the bar for me, personally. I think if I'm going to do this again, I might have to up the ante a little bit. We'll have to figure it out. We'll have to go back to the, uh, the old drawing board and see how we can change it up a little bit to make it a little more of a challenge. But all in all, I think the challenge went very well. All right, Ty, what did you think about the challenge? Um, I thought you did very well. There was um, a debacle with the cherries, but you know what? We pulled through. There was some backlash from the, from the anti-Zachary Taylor project. And guess what? Cameron pulled through with those cherries that melted. It was a tough task, and he got it done. He did his job. Me personally, I'm gonna disagree. If I'm being honest, I think it was a pretty, pretty easy challenge. 65 cherries just really isn't that much. You know, I, th I feel like I've done that before and it wasn't a challenge, but you know, for him, impressive, whatever, done well, goes accurately. You'll always have your Ryan Smiths, your pessimists out there that'll say, oh, well, if you could do this, then, and Zachary Taylor couldn't, oh, the why couldn't he? You know, listen to me, all right? 170 years later, we got better medicine. People actually like, wash cherries and stuff to make sure they're safe. You know, you can't blame. You can't blame old Zach here, okay, for when he lived in a time where germs were not even a thing. So I, I don't, you know, I'm not going to go harsh on Zach. I mean, I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy to see that... Because of this challenge, because I brought my friends in, I was able to actually spend the most time talking about Zachary Taylor than I ever had in my entire life. I mean, who would have thought that a group of, I don't know, around 10 people in my life would actually be interested in Zachary Taylor all at once? And not only that, but you also gotta consider they're teenage, teenage boys, teenage guys like me and that was I mean honestly when it when it goes when it goes back to it, it's like do you think you're making a little bit of a difference in people's lives and yeah the main goal that I set out to do that I set out to accomplish during this whole Zachary Taylor project is to spread awareness of who he was I think he was a great leader no matter what time period you put him in and I mean, yeah, he, his end was not very pretty. And yeah, people are laughing about it. Especially those that are kind of close to me and will never be quiet about it. But as long as they're actually saying his name, is that a good thing? Is that something that they might be able to be like, hmm, who was this guy? Did he do something cool? And then... I'll be able to step right in and say, yeah, he did. He was an amazing guy, an amazing leader. And so, you know, the legacy of this first Zachary Taylor challenge, you know, I think it's it's already set in motion. I think we did some great things. And not only am I proud of this year's performance by me, which was pretty perfect in all honesty, 
Um, I'm very, very excited to see how it grows next year. What he said at the end. That must get chicks. <laughs> <laughs> That's going right in the middle. Oh, wow. You know what? Oh, I, don't, I don't think I could top that.